हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग टीसीएस एंड क्यूटी एग्जाम सो लेट मी शेयर सम एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द लास्ट टीसीएस एंड क्यूटी एग्जाम दैट इज इफ यू आर यूजिंग पाइथन फॉर कोडिंग देन प्लीज अवॉइड बिकॉज देयर आर मल्टीपल फॉल्स अकॉर्डिंग देयर आर मल्टीपल एरर्स अकॉर्डिंग कंपाइलेशन एरर एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ओके सो प्लीज ट्राई टू यूज सी प्लस प्लस और जावा for avoiding these faults okay you know people can manage to solve one code at least but they are getting stuck at quants part that's why we will solve some quants question in this video but before we proceed i would recommend you to have the prime materials of tcs and qt in which i have included all the recent coding questions with answers quants part and all the previous year questions mock test if you want then please dm me at my id instagram.com/techno.ef you will get it and be mindful this is paid okay so let's see you know for exam speed time and distance is very important and there can be two or three questions from this chapter only okay so that's why we will discuss speed time and distance is in this video okay so before i show you the real questions let's discuss some cases okay let's say uh, a and b running towards each other okay a and b running towards each other with the respect of uh, with the speed of x km per hour and y km per hour okay so in this case what should be the relative speed so just remember uh, when two person or two thing coming towards each other running towards each other with the speed of something kilometer per hour okay then the relative speed relative speed will be their speed okay x plus y or y plus x assuming that the other person's uh, speed is zero or static okay and the second case this is a case one okay sorry this is the case one and the second case is if they are running in the same direction okay that means if a is running towards this direction with the speed of x km per hour and b is running towards same direction but at y km per hour okay so in this case what should be the relative speed so just remember relative speed for this case will be x minus y or y minus x mod okay so that means uh, whichever is greater okay and just assume that the person who is ahead or who is in the front his speed is zero or static and let's discuss i mean let's uh, calculate the distance okay so that's that, that's the way you have to calculate the relative speed and uh, there can be question like uh, if a and b are running towards uh, the same direction then uh, if a is having x km per hour and b is having speed of y km per hour then when a will cross b so this type of question will be asked right so let's discuss that question particularly okay so let me just remove this so a and b running towards the same direction okay at the speed of uh, 15 km per hour and 10 km per hour respectively okay so now tell me uh, if their distance is 500 meter sorry 500 meter then when a will meet b so this is very simple question and this question is not going to come in the exam but this is for learning purpose okay so at first we have to calculate the relative speed so relative speed for this case will be as they are going towards uh, same direction okay and this is from case 2 so you can just uh, implement this this formula okay so 15 minus 10 will be 5 okay so 5 km per hour they are relative speed so uh, and you know that speed formula time formula right so time is equal to distance by speed distance by speed and those both should be in the same unit so 500 meter okay so we have to convert this into km so if we convert this then this becomes 0.5 km and the relative speed is 5 so this okay so this way we can say that only 0.10 hour will be taken by a to cross b or to meet b so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please subscribe this channel and share this content with your friends so that so that they can also take help from this okay and if you want the prime materials of uh, any company then please let me know in the comment section okay and you can dm me at my id instagram.com/techno.ef okay and If you want to discuss more, then join our Telegram channel t.me slash we can now. Okay, so let's discuss the first question. That is the distance between two cities P and Q is eighty kilometer, right? So P and Q is eighty kilometer, and 
uh, a cycle rider starts from b towards q at 7 am at a speed of 10 km so cyclists start from p to q at a speed of 10 km per hour but at 7 am okay and uh, another motorcyclist starts from q towards p at 8 am at a speed of 25 km per hour okay so motorcyclist starts from q to p at a speed of 25 km per hour but at 8 am one hour later okay so in this one hour difference the cyclist already covered 10 kilometers right so that means that means let's assume the cyclist speed static or zero then the uh, motorcyclist uh, need only 70 kilometers to cross this motor uh, a cyclist okay so that means the distance 70 kilometer is needed to cover by the motorcyclist to cover to cross the cyclist okay so tell me what will be the relative speed in this case so as they are going towards each other then the relative speed will be x plus y that means 10 plus 20 sorry 10 plus 25 so 35 kilometer per hour will be the relative speed in this case okay so uh, we know that the time formula is time formula is distance by distance by speed right distance by speed so distance is 70 kilometer and the time is sorry speed is 35 right so our question was at what time will they cross each other right so the time we needed so that's why t is equal to the the total distance by the relative speed that means 35 multiplied 2 so 2 hour needed to cross the cyclist by the motorcyclist so let's see the actual question which was asked in the exam right so the distance between two cities p and q is 300 km a train starts from station p at 10 am with a speed of 10 km per hour towards q another train starts from q towards p with a speed of 40 km per hour at a speed of 11 am at what time do they meet 12 50 pm 1 pm 12 12 20 pm 12 40 pm so what will be the correct answer this is a quick question for you please give the answer in the comment section i'll love it okay otherwise this will not be helpful if you don't try okay so the next problem is quite same two cars start simultaneously from rachi and kolkata and travels towards one another at a speed of 80 km and 130 km per hour respectively when they met one car traveled 150 km more than the other find the distance between rachi and kolkata so i hope you guessed how to solve the problem still uh, let's see if you are right or not okay so i hope you already solved this problem still i am solving for you guys okay so uh, rachi and kolkata right so distance be between rachi and kolkata we don't know okay but one car is at a speed of 80 km per hour and the second car is at a speed of 130 km per hour okay so we know that distance is equal to speed into time so so this car covered how much this car covered distance is equal to 80 this is the speed and the time so time we don't know time we don't know the total distance but we know that this is going at the speed of 80 km per hour so distance is equal to the speed multiplied by time and for this car the distance will be uh, what what distance it covered that is 130 km per hour speed multiplied by t so 130 t km uh, it covered okay so total distance is what so total distance will be 130 t plus 80 t so this becomes 200 one sorry 210 t right so total distance between rachi and kolkata is 210 t right so as we got information from this question that one car traveled 150 kilometer more than the other more than the other that means 130 t minus 80 t is equal to 150 right so that means the t will be five sorry three hours okay so i hope you understood so this will be the answer that is 210 multiplied by t that means multiply by three so 630 will be the answer okay so 210 multiplied by three 600 
30 will be the correct answer okay so i hope you understood okay so let's see another actual question from the exam so the question is two cities a and b are at a distance of 60 km from each other two persons p and q starts from the first city at a speed of 10 km per hour and 5 km per hour respectively p reached the second city b and returns back and meets q at y find the distance between a and y 40 50 30 or 55 km per hour so i hope you will give the answer in the comment section so if you can't solve then please let me know in the comment section and if you solve then please give the answer in the comment section okay and if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please join our telegram channel to get the real questions to discuss more to get the uh, to get the corporate details corporate updates okay and again i'm requesting you to have the prime materials in which i have included all the recent coding questions recent technical questions mock test recent aptitude questions interview preparation materials then please let me know and uh, you can dm me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef you will get it and the, this is paid still this is affordable okay so i hope you will get it thank you for today's session